Hey folks, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant, and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. Welcome back to The Other Side of the Dash, and if you're a new subscriber, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button somewhere up there. Hit the notification button so you're notified every time I do a new video and please share this with all of your friends. So today, I have a very special helper with me, my beautiful and gorgeous and awesome granddaughter, Delina. Hi folks. So today my helper is going to help me make some keto ice cream. So you guys know I'm on this keto healthy lifestyle and a lot of people moan and groan because they think, okay, I don't want to do it because I'm stuck to this regimen and I can't have any fun on it. Well, I'm here to tell you there is a way to have fun on keto. So I'm going to make mason jar ice cream. So I'm going to make butter pecan because that is my favorite ice cream in a keto jar. I mean in a mason jar. And Delina is going to make strawberry in a mason jar. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do, and we're going to go step by step on each one. So the first thing we're going to do is, you have to have a mason jar. And the ideal size for a mason jar is going to be 24 ounces. And that's going to make two servings of keto ice cream. Now guys, I will tell you, I looked around with the exception of going on Amazon. And they're very expensive on Amazon. And I just didn't want to pay what Amazon was paying. So I went to my local Dollar General and this is what they had. I could have went to Walmart, but I refuse to go to Walmart ever again. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking these may be equivalent to 24 ounces. It doesn't say on it. We're just going to hope and pray that these are 24 ounces. So I have this here, hopefully 24 ounce mason jar. And Delina has her mason jar. So go ahead and open your mason jar a little bit. We call her a little bit for short. If you follow our other channel, Glamline a little bit, which will soon be called uh, Bryant Family Values, you will see her there a lot. It's all about her, but this one's all about me. <laughs> so we're, what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna start with mine. Now for the butter pecan, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a half a stick of butter and you're gonna put it in a pan and melt it. And then you're gonna roast about a cup and a half of pecans and roast them for about five minutes. And I've already done that because you guys didn't want to see that boring process. So once you roast them to your liking, you let them cool off and they're about cool, cooled off right now. So what I'm going to do with my end is I'm going to go ahead and take my pecans and I'm going to go ahead and put them in the bottom of the mason jar. Uh oh, and I'm going to try not to make a mess. Okay, so I've got my toasted pecans in the bottom here, and I chopped them up a little bit because I like to fill the chunks of pecans in my mouth. So what Delina's going to do, she's going to put her strawberries in the bottom of her jar. So go ahead and do that, Delina. And while she's doing that, I'm going to tell you why it's important that you have the 24 ounces for this recipe. And she's got about a cup and a half of strawberries that she's putting in hers. Once we get all the ingredients in, you're going to need enough room for the ingredients to expand. And you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit later on. You're doing very good there. That's okay. Go ahead. Some had to abandon ship, right? Okay. So she's got hers in. The next thing we're going to add is going to be two cups of heavy cream. So we're both going to add that to our jar. So go ahead and add your heavy, heavy cream. Be very careful, darling. Good job. Go ahead, boot fast, yeah, that way you don't spill it. Okay. So you're probably wondering, well, what makes this keto? Uh, what's ice cream without sweetener? Well, we have sweetener. So in the keto world, we use 
several sweeteners, and one of them is called Eurythrol. You, you, you rit the raw. You rit the raw. How do you, you know how to say it? Eurythrol. She probably said it better than I did. You rit the raw. Anyway, it's up here or down here. I'll spell it and I'll put a link to it. Anyway, you can get it on Amazon. You can probably get it at Whole Foods or whatever. But you rit the you rit the tall. You rit the tall. Whatever. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of erythritol, go ahead, in. And to add just a little bit more sweet, sweetness, we're gonna add, they tell you to add stevia, but I use Splenda Zero, and this is uh, zero calories, zero carbs. We also use this in the Splenda world. Probably not the best thing to use because Although this one doesn't say circulose, the one in the black label does say circulose. I'm very sensitive to circulose, um, and I have a feeling there's circulose in this one. But if you don't have a sensitivity to circulose, then this part won't bother you. So we're going to put about 10 drops, and just because a little bit is very heavy-handed, I'm going to put hers in for her, okay? So 10, 1, 2, 3. See, I'm heavy-handed too. I'm just going to put a couple more, and that's it. Look, that's good. <laughs> we don't want it to be, to be over sweet. Now, you can put butter drops in it, uh, in the butter pecan, or you don't have to. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to put a few drops of butter uh, flavoring in it. And that's about it. Now, for a little bit, she's doing strawberry. We thought we'd make hers a little bit more fun. So, we're going to put, and again, because she's heavy-handed, I'm going to do this for her. We found some watermelon flavoring we didn't have, because we bake cupcakes as well. And we ran out of strawberry flavoring, so we're going to make this a little fun. I'm going to put a couple drops of watermelon flavoring in hers. Come on. So we're going to do that. And then to make it really fun, we're going to put a couple drops of red food coloring. Okay. So that should be awesome. So the next thing we're going to do is going to put a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. So go ahead and put your vanilla in. And that's all it, that's it for the ingredients. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the top on real tight. Now here comes the hard part, guys. Okay, you think you can do this? So what we're going to do is we're going to shake this for about two to three minutes. Think you can do that? Okay, so let's try. And as we shake it, as you're going to see, it's going to expand to the top of the jar. So shake it with all your might. Shake it, girl. Shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. You can do it. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. Here, let's just trade it out. Let me shake yours. You shake mine. And how you'll know when you're done shaking it is you won't hear the liquid in it anymore. So you just keep shaking until you don't hear any liquid. Lick, lick it. Till you hear any liquid. Lick it, lick it. <laughs> Till you don't hear any liquid. You want to trade off? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of work, huh? It's like going to the gym, girl. Look at my guns. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Thank you, mine so much. Okay. Turn it upside down and shake it so those strawberries can get all mixed up in there. Ow. You okay? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 I'm in this way. Do it every which way but loose. You want to trade it off? She's like, let's take a little break. We can't take any break. We got to get it shaking. Now the strawberry is almost, because it's almost not giving a, a gift. Just a little bit of gift. Maybe one more minute. This is easy. Try for the next. <laughs> it's their brain damage. <laughs> this is a workout. This is 
when you need a man in the house. <laughs> Unfortunately, my husband's outside doing the lawn. <sighs> This is almost done. Let's, let's trade off. Oh, it's tiring. It is tiring. We're going to do it for about one more minute. We'll be right back, guys. Okay, come on. I can still hear my. So, as you can kind of see here, it's expanded mostly to the top. We probably could have <laughs> shaken it for a little while longer. Look, real cats. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is, you can do one of two things. You can put it in the freezer for three or more hours, or you can put it in the fridge for 24 hours. So for the sake of this video, we're going to put it in the freezer for three hours and we will be back to take it out and test it and see how it turned out. So we'll be back folks. Oh God. Oh. My helper and I are back and our ice cream is out of the freezer and so we're going to go ahead and open it and see what the final result is. Galina, you want to go first? Yes. Okay. Can you open it? Oh, oh no. Ooh, no. Ugh. Okay. First thing. Oh. It's a little watery. We probably should have left it in a little bit longer, but still, we're going to still test it. Okay, let me throw this away. Put your spoon in and test it. How does it taste? Pretty good. Maybe we need some more. How does it get consistency? Pretty good. Oh, but you know what though? Around the edges, it's pretty hard. So, if we leave it in overnight, it will probably... It'll probably get harder. But it feels like ice cream. It just feels like it's soft ice cream. So does it taste good? You mind if I taste good. it? Yes. I'm just gonna taste a little bit of hers and see what it tastes like. It actually tastes like strawberry ice cream. So leave this probably overnight in the freezer. In the morning it'll be completely ready. But oh my goodness, it tastes really good. Okay, okay. <laughs> it must taste really good. And it's not really, really sweet. You think it's too sweet? No. Can you taste the strawberry chunks? Not yet. There's somewhere in there. <laughs> so anyway, so hers came out pretty good. We just need to freeze it a little while longer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do mine. Okay, you guys can see mine there. It froze up. I think mine froze a little bit better than hers. Hers may... Oh. What? It's gonna dry. Hers may, again, just needs to be frozen a little bit. Maybe, I don't know why the consistency may be a little bit different. But I'm gonna go ahead and... It even comes off like ice cream. guys I have found oh my god and I roasted those pecans I have never tasted pecans and butter nut pecan, uh, butter pecan ice cream this roasted oh my god get a spoon I know you want to taste it you're looking at a spoon go ahead and get it <laughs> tastes really good and it's not overly sweet so if you want it, actually it's not sweet, it's too sweet at all. Actually, if you wanted it a little bit sweeter, you probably can uh, put more um, of the stevia, uh, the stevia drops in it to get it a little bit sweeter. We didn't put that much in there, but it's actually not sweet at all. So the good thing about it is sometimes those sweeteners, if you're diabetic, they can spike your blood sugar. And I don't have to worry about this doing that because it tastes good. It's got just the right amount of sweetness 
but what's really making that make it taste good that flavor of those roasted pecans and the butter coming through oh my god and even though it came out the right texture i need to make sure it's in the freezer oh god okay we gotta stop we gotta stop we gotta stop mm, we gotta stop <laughs> okay so as far as keto dishes go and keto desserts go this is a definite definite plus um it's very easy to make um you could have just done vanilla we could have put cinnamon in hers and just called it a day it could have been french vanilla uh but you can do different variations of this ice cream just make sure whatever you're using as your your flavoring that is low carb whether it be nuts fruit or just the cinnamon or whatever the case may be um i have heard people use protein powders as a flavoring um which is uh, you know an option just make sure that the protein powder that you're using is keto friendly it is low in carbs or no carbs at all there are some out there that have no carbs so this is definitely a plus in my book what do you think plus so this is definitely a plus in our book so um, I will have the recipe for this in the description that box uh, below for both of these and um, including the uh, nutritional information. So you've been watching the other side of the dash. I'll see you next time. I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. <music>